In this video, we'll talk about Star Citizen Alpha 3.20's initial release to the PTU, the latest leaks, and possibly the biggest news for this year's CitizenCon revealed at Bar Citizen by Chris Roberts. If you're new to this channel and is interested in Star Citizen content, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Without any further ado, let's get started. Star Citizen Alpha 3.20 hit the PTU for Wave 1 and 2. Just a high level of what we can expect from this patch. Under new features in the location category, Seraphim Station has replaced Port Olisar. Under gameplay, we have automated cargo transfer and new cargo packing system. We have a new mission called Illegal Salvage Cover-Up Missions. And under ships and vehicles, we have the Miss Hall C. Under feature updates in the location category, we have the underground facility, Rastar updates. Under gameplay, we have real vehicle handling improvements, AI ship difficulty rebalance, vaulting and mantling air ledge grab improvements, mining stability and polish. Under core tech, they updated the EAC SDK to 1.15. Dot five. In addition to this, there is tons of bug fixes and client server crash fixes. They went big on Arena Commander for this patch as well with the unified front end and lobby system, spawning and loadout modular refactor, new rewards, and new game modes. Under experimental game modes, they have Gun Rush, Tank Royale, Very Fun, Team Tank Battles, Single Weapon Elimination, Duel 2 Fury and 2 Furious. For master modes, they have free flight, duel, and endless vandal swarm. They also have new maps and racetracks. In the latest leaks, they found some random info regarding Star Citizen 3.20 XML files pertaining to what we may see in the near future for Star Citizen. These ones pertain to Moby Glass V2. These are random but do suggest that we will be interacting with the Moby Glass to perform more actions that affect the game world. I suspect these are related to hacking. Here's a list. Button up, close one, completion, error, execution, loading 01 and load up 01, open, rollover, sub rollover, sub button. You guys let me know what you think these are for in the comments below. Up next is related to the player character status. They have home heartbeat stable and home heartbeat vital. Obviously those pertain to some of the metadata that we'll get for the player character in the home screen of the Moby Glass but these ones are more interesting. Personal status, radiation. It looks like we'll be getting environmental hazards in the game soon, which will make the gameplay a little bit more interesting. Prepping for your excursions will be even more important as you'll need to consider the types of suits and armors to bring. I cannot wait till we can use our suit lockers in our ships. This will help with the immersion of the game. The following are a bit random as well, but give us some insight on the changes in the upcoming Moby Glass version too. Log search cancel, log search confirm, log search button, log sub button up. Do these suggest that we'll be able to search for keywords in logs? Does this pertain to hacking where we would need to sift through logs during investigations or, or hacking missions? Let me know your thoughts on this down below. The following are also general purpose for the mob glass. Message marked as read, message switched, and home notification go to app. It'll be cool and convenient to go directly to an app we receive notification from on the home screen of the mobile glass. The following pertains to the star map app on the mobile glass. Search auto pan one through three, search button one through three, search cancel, search confirm, search MM. From the sounds of this, we'll be able to search for points of interest on the star map. Next, they have select planet, radio pulse, Search zoom horizontal pan velocity, search zoom velocity, search zoom vertical pan velocity, search yaw velocity, star map velocity, and star map pitch. These suggest we'll be getting a star map similar to Elite Dangerous where it'll be 3D which will allow us to select different star systems and zoom in on them. We can also expect the Galactopedia eventually in the game with these tags found. Galactopedia, category expanded, ignore collapse category. They found some in-game notification options as well. We'll have options to pause notifications for friend requests and party invites. 
For party invites, you can determine if you want them for friends only or anyone. They seem to have found new ores and refinement information. Raw ice seems to be coming and we all know that it can be refined into hydrogen and oxygen. They found some new additions for the underground facilities as well. There will be variants for Grey Cats and Kovalex. There will be storage rooms, cargo shops, exterior cargo, elevator room, elevator room observation room, lobby, dead end, security room, and of course, spawn closet. They found flare models for the Hall C, also in the XML files. The economy will be getting an update with the addition of new commodities, iron ore, raw silicon, rixite ore, stellaron ore, and tin ore. So now up next is the big news from Bar Citizen Shanghai. Q&A with Chris Roberts. The first question they asked Roberts is, what can we expect from 4.0? And he responds with, we're holding a lot of details about 4.0 till CitizenCon since CitizenCon will mainly be focused on cool things in 4.0 as well as some other things. However, 4.0 will definitely include the first version of server meshing as well as to other systems and other things too. But I think Tyler and Jared will shoot me if I say too much. This is huge news. At the very least, we have confirmation that 4.0 will include server meshing. Even better, he did not specify pyro, but mentioned travel to other systems. This includes pyro, and I'm suspecting next and possibly another system. The biggest news they could announce is the release of 4.0 for the Q4 release for this year. If they do, it'll be perfect timing for CIG. We'll talk more about this shortly. The next question is, how do you feel about Starfield? He responds, I know many people say that this is our competitor, but I'm also really looking forward to the game and have high hopes for it. I have played many Bethesda games and I think they're a very skilled game studio. Starfield will make more people interested in space exploration games. And after playing Starfield, many people will want to play an online space exploration game. That's when they may come to play Star Citizen. In essence, they don't form a competitive relationship, but rather a special cooperative relationship. I personally think Starfield will put Star Citizen in a perfect position to break records this year. After the release of Starfield in September, by the time CitizenCon and IAE comes around this year end, if they announce the release of 4.0, they will get a huge influx of players coming in after completing the Starfield main questline. CIG will be in position to make a lot of money and I believe more money than they've ever made in a single year. You guys let me know what you guys think of this down below. In addition to this, we got some more details pertaining to 4.0 from the Pipeline Discord. So now take this with a grain of salt as always. They say that 4.0 is still on track for the end of the year. Maybe not fully live, but PTU like other end of year patches with pyro and server meshing. That's exciting to hear. Server meshing has been in active testing for a few months, mostly focused on client crash handling, server crash fixes, and friendless issues. Man, this is really great if they've reached that point where this is just the last few things they need to test before we actually get our hands on the patch this is awesome they also said pyro is almost done and we'll probably get a feature complete announcement at citizen con you guys let me know are you guys excited to get a reveal of 4.0 do you think we'll get the reveal for 4.0 let me know down below once again if you haven't already subscribe for more star citizen content leave a like on this as it helps with the algorithm i'll see you on the next video